Good evening, this is Brad Mason and I'm here to share an Advent message with you regarding one of my favorite parts of the Christmas account in Luke chapter 2. When I was a young boy, I often looked forward to our plays at school and church regarding the Nativity. And part of that was when the angels appeared to the lowly shepherds, the shepherds who were basically the lowest of the low in the nation of Israel's culture. But what a message they received from God. God chose not to bring that message to King Herod or the chief priests and scribes or Pharisees. He chose to deliver that message to the lowly shepherds. And he chose to use his angels as he did for every other important message in the Bible. So if you want to read along with me, I'll be in Luke chapter 2, beginning in verse 8. And here the Bible describes the scene. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. As I said, significantly, the angel did not visit the most prestigious people in society at the time. No, God asked the angel to make this important announcement to humble shepherds. Since the shepherds raised the lambs that were sacrificed to atone for people's sins each and every spring during Passover, they probably had a great understanding of the importance of the Messiah's arrival to save the world from sin. The shepherds were watching over their flocks as the sheep and lambs were scattered, resting or grazing on the quiet surrounding hillsides. While the shepherds were prepared to deal with wolves or even robbers who threatened their animals, they were shocked and even scared by witnessing an angel's appearance to them in the middle of the night. If the appearance of a single angel was not enough to scare the shepherds, a large number of angels suddenly appeared, joining the original angel and praising God. As it says in Luke chapter 2, verses 13 and 14, suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. This was enough to spark the shepherds into action. The Bible continues the story in Luke 2, verses 15 to 18. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. The shepherds hurried off and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus, who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen the baby, the shepherds spread the word about what the angels had told them. And all who heard the nativity story were amazed at what the shepherds told to them. Finally, the Bible passage concludes in Luke 2, 19 and 20. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen which were just as they had been told. When the shepherds returned to their fields after visiting the newborn Jesus, they did not forget about their experience. They were the first evangelists to spread the word and to praise God for what he had done. And on that night, Christianity had born. This should be a reminder to us this Advent of what it is for us to spread the word about Jesus as well. It should be much easier for us today than it was for those she poor, lowly shepherds. So I want to challenge you this year to think about the wondrous appearance of these angels to the lowly shepherds. Every time you see bright lights decorating our world 
or look up on the sky on a clear night and see all of the stars which our God and Father has created for us. Let's use this reminder for ourselves of how we look forward to Christ's glorious return during Advent and every day of our lives. May God richly bless you and your family as we prepare to celebrate the birth of our Messiah.